My name is Ayla Gavins. I'm the principal of Mission Hill School. I've been involved with the Mission Hill School community for about 18 years now. Next year will be Mission Hill School's 20th year um, of existence, and we're all really excited about celebrating that. Um, when I first came to Mission Hill School, I was coming as a, a teacher that had six years of experience teaching in um, more traditional suburban schools, um, schools that were in the suburbs of Boston. And I remember having a student in my class when I was teaching at Mission Hill that drummed all the time. He used to use his fingers to drum on desks and tables and walking down the hall, on the walls, any, any place you can think of he would drum. And I started to think about what that student's experience would be if they were in one of the schools that I had come from, one of the schools that I had taught at previously. And that was the moment of sort of awakening for me that this place had something going on that was really different from any other school I had experienced. And that was that this school really saw every single person as a member of the community and had a way of seeing human diversity as normal. Um, and as part of human diversity, there was an expectation that everybody would participate in the school community in a different way. So there was this um, really celebratory way of um, seeing everybody's unique features as a human being and as a community member. And then there was this idea that our job was really to help everybody grow their uniqueness. This was not a place where there was a cookie cutter idea about anything really, and that everybody had something different to contribute and that we were all better for that versus um, trying to have everybody fit into one um, way of being that um, really inhibited what other people could get from each other, socially, academically, spiritually, in all ways. So I was really excited to be part of this community and, and being part, it really changed who I was as a person and who I was as a teacher and forced me to think about things from multiple perspectives. How were my students in all the different ways that they are in the world going to see things and act upon things? What decisions would they make? How would my colleagues in all the different ways that they are see things and what decisions might they make? And I started thinking about things from all these different viewpoints which stretched me as a person. The other part of the school that I found um, really enlightening was the focus on democratic principles and raising not just the young people in our community, but the adults in our community as citizens, um, citizens that would participate in a democracy. So what does that mean and what does that look like? Those are questions that I still ask myself after being part of this community for so many years because every adult member brings a different element to the community that forces us to keep raising the questions. What is democracy? What does it look like? How do we participate? Um, it's part of the beauty of being at Mission Hill School. Over the years, our community has diversified wildly, um, both at an adult level and also a, at a student and family level. And how we've adapted to those changes I think has pushed us all in how we think about what's important, about assessment, about teaching, about learning, about experiences, about what it means to share a meal. Everything um, has an evolving value that I find really interesting and, and excites me to be here and to continue to be here. One thing, um, that people often say when they come to the school is that you can feel in the atmosphere a sense of kindness, welcoming, and acceptance. And I think all of that is true because of the expected participation in this community, that people can't sit quietly, that we want to hear from you, and that we create situations and experiences for kids to have their voice present, um, to be in situations when they're going to make mistakes, um, to support each other, 
to encourage mistake making so we can learn from those things and to never um, put each other in boxes. Um, the adults in our community are constantly looking for situations that might shock the norm. So if a kid, um, if we think a kid might start making assumptions about one person or another, we look for evidence that's gonna go against that belief they're starting to form so that um, our children grow up not making assumptions about people and their capacity. They grow up all with a sense of wonder about um, what they can do, the world around them, and the people in their company, and that they are forever welcoming of people. And instead of judging, that they ask questions. So that's, that's the spot that we want our students to be in. We had a parent visiting today that talked about, this was a prospective parent, they were visiting the school, and they asked me about academic rigor. And I said, um, the challenges that come for students academically here are not about the length of a paper or about the number of hours they spent on a homework assignment. The challenge comes from thinking critically. And so when teachers are creating a curriculum or thinking about the experiences children are gonna have, they're thinking about what project what question am I going to put before them that is open-ended and endless so that a student can invite multiple people to participate in their learning around that topic and there's no ceiling. A student can go as far as time and interest and passion will allow. Um, and that parent walked away, that prospective parent walked away um, with a new way of thinking about what learning can look like for their child. And that's the kind of thing that I'm sort of eternally excited about.